The Nun Story is actually one of my favourite Audrey Hepburn films, and I think it's really underrated. I know when people think Hepburn, they think Breakfast at Tiffany's, but I think her performance in The Nun Story, and just the film in general, is really captivating and really beautiful. This was released in 1959. It's directed by Fred Zinnerman, and screenplay by Robert Anderson, based on the book by Catherine Hume, and stars, of course, Audrey Hepburn, as well as Peter Finch and Edith Evans. And the description from IMDb is one sentence and it sums it up nicely without spoiling anything. And this is as follows. After leaving a wealthy wealthy Belgian family to become a nun, Sister Luke struggles with her devotion to her vows during crisis, disappointment and World War II. Obviously, Audrey Hepburn is our Sister Luke and she's a young woman. She goes to the convent. She commits herself to the Lord and becomes a nun. And a lot of the film sounds boring when I describe it like this, but it's just her adjusting to this different way of life and, you know, giving in to temptation and breaking the rules and, you know, feeling sorry for what she's done and having to help other people and devote her life to the Lord's will, to assisting those in need. And... It's just so beautiful to watch and it doesn't sound interesting if you said to me here's a film that's over two hours long about a young woman becoming a nun and what that entails and there are a lot of them, it's not just her, there are a lot of sisters who have just devoted their life to the nunnery and we see them going from their first day to how they progress as they go throughout it, the things that they overcome, how they flourish how each person can have a different focus, um, how some of them excel in medicine, some of them might excel in tending to the bedside needs of the sick, things like that. And Sister Luke, who's also called Gabrielle Mandreval, is a really brilliant character. She goes on an incredible journey. This isn't set just inside the nunnery, She has ambitions to go to Congo to help out there, to help people in need there. And she's got, um, her father is in medicine, so she's got a lot of background um, and really wants to excel in tropical diseases or in the curing of tropical diseases, I guess is the better way to put this. It's a really well-developed, well-rounded, detailed film that's just so compelling and so beautiful to watch. We really do follow Sister Luke's journey And to see her going from this young woman with no idea what it's actually going to be like to the nun she eventually becomes is incredible. There's always the question of, will she continue to be a nun? Will this be her story forever? But it was such a beautiful watch. I think it's very unpredictable as well. There are so many amazing aspects of this. It's beautiful to watch. It will make you question a lot. I truly loved it. It was Oscar nominated for Best Picture, Best Actress in a Leading Role, Best Director, Writing, Cinematography, Sound, Film Editing and Music. It didn't win any of them, but it did win um, an Outstanding Merit Golden Globe. It's won, you know, several other awards. It's a fantastic film, very well received. It's one that sounds like it may not be for everybody, but actually I think if you give it a chance... I'm fairly confident that you will like it. Obviously, Hepburn's performance is exquisite. And she's just absolutely incredible. I can't fault it. I truly love it. I will watch it again. I'm not the biggest fan of long films because I have a short attention span. This one flew by. I was sad when it ended. The Nun's story is beautiful.